And you know what I've discovered? Most of us in this room think, well, here's the real problem. The problem is I'm just too weak. I'm just not strong enough. And so we pray, God, give me strength. God, make me strong. Make me a warrior. Make me like Paul. How many times have you prayed, give me strength, give me strength, give me strength, give me strength. And all this, and you're still fighting, and you're still struggling, and you're still losing, because I want you to understand something. The, the problem is not that you're weak. <laughs> the problem is that you're strong. You think you're weak, and that's the problem. That's not the problem. You're strong. That's the problem. You think you can do it. You think somehow if I try harder that there's some hidden thing out there that if I can ever discover, I'm going to be able to do this, and I'm going to gut it up, and I'm going to live the life. And you're too strong. The problem is not that we're too weak. We're too strong. And it kind of leads us to the next thing Paul says. He says, I know, secondly, I know that nothing good dwells in me. That is in my flesh, in verse 18. He said, this is what I know. Nothing good dwells in me, that is in my flesh. Now the danger of this knowledge is that we think, well, I'm done, I can't win. I'm stuck in sin, I'll never be free. I'll never be able to defeat this. You can, Paul, but not me. You can, pastor, but not me. All of us have spiritual heroes in our life people that we look to that somehow seem to have it figured out and seem to be able to, to live life in victory and walk through that, and we hold them on a pedestal to say that they're able to do it, but not me. In verse 15 down through verse 19, Paul is writing about himself, and man, he is in full combat mode. He has acknowledged the fact that he is fully justified. He is made right with God through faith in Jesus Christ. This is not about his salvation. He is fully justified. The problem is he's not fully sanctified. The word sanctified means to be made like Christ, to walk like him. So he's justified, but he's, but he's not sanctified. He's righteous positionally. He's a saint as we all are through faith in Christ, but he still sins. And so Paul is talking about this, this it, 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 he's really confessing, if you will, that there's an ongoing battle with sin. He's not giving us permission to sin, but I think he's given us permission to struggle 